Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use Venturi instead of an air blower on a concrete or a block built hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this video was actually requested by a subscriber to the channel. They left a message underneath one of my previous videos asking how they could use a Venturi system rather than a blower on a concrete hot tub and would I make a video for it? So this is that video. And of course, if you've got an, any questions that I haven't answered on my channel, I'm always looking for ideas for new videos, always happy to make them. So just hit me up in the comments or get in touch via buildahottub.com. And if it's a good idea, just like this one, then I'll definitely make the content. Now, before we get going, always a great opportunity. You know I like to get this in there to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, parts, plunge pools, air source heat pumps and pretty much everything in between. So with that out of the way, firstly, let's talk about a, a more standard setup of a block or a concrete built hot tub using a gunite body, a jet pump and an air blower. So this is a gunite body and it has a an one and a half inch airline on the top. It has two inch water line on the bottom and we have two and a half inch which goes through the walls into the tub. And the way that it works is the water from the jet pump is sent on the two inch water line. It comes out of the front on a one inch pipe that's inside of the two and a half inch pipe. I know there's lots of different sizes involved here and that goes straight into the hot tub. Now what happens is as the water's going through, you might just be able to see there on the airline, there's actually a, a hole and the water comes through under pressure out the front and through the process of Venturi, the air which is on the blower line here, so it's blown in under pressure, is then drawn into the water line and it gives you a more bubbly, effervescent kind of a, a hot tub experience. And I'm, I'm a big fan of, of air blowers, but I know that they're not for everybody. And certainly for the subscriber that left me the message asking how we can use an alternative, they didn't want one either. They can be kind of noisy and, and some people don't like that. So how do we use this setup with Venturi? So in terms of a hot tub, as I've explained, the Venturi process is water moving quickly over a hole which then draws air into the hot tub jet. So if we're not gonna use a blower, how are we gonna get air into those lines? Well, it's pretty straightforward. What you're gonna do is you're gonna actually tee into the airlines and take your airline vertically up onto the, the level edge of the hot tub. On the level edge of the hot tub, and you can see a, a diagram here behind me of, of what I mean, there is gonna be an air valve, and this is a manually adjusted, and they look something like this. What's gonna happen is when you've got your jet pump running, instead of switching on a blower, because we're not gonna have a blower in this system, what you can actually do is open the air valve. And opening the air valve is gonna allow air to be drawn into the system through the process of Venturi. What you'll find is the jets, the, the power on those will increase. Now it's not gonna be the same kind of power increase that you get with a blower because it's putting that air under pressure to be drawn into the jets. What you're solely relying on with this kind of a setup is through the process of Venturi, the, the air to be drawn into those jet lines. Now you're gonna to want to have more than one of these valves on your system. So if you've got a, a square hot tub that you're building, for example, you're probably gonna put one on each of the four sides and that will give you some flexibility in being able to turn the, the Venturi on or off. What I would also change in this kind of a setup is I wouldn't have the airlines connected all the way round. I would have, say I've got a, a 16 jet system, I would have four 
on each side of the hot tub and I would have them on their own line with that Venturi valve, so the little air diverter that you can open up to allow air in, I would have that on separate systems so that you're not drawing all of the air in from all the way around the tub. It's gonna create more suction, just allowing four jets per Venturi T. So that's gonna look something like this in the diagram behind. So as I said, instead of connecting everything together, this is just an example with four jets. You've got that vertical one and a half inch air pipe into which you're gonna have that air diverter or it's not really a diverter, it's a sort of an open or a closed valve on the, the surface of your tub. Now you've got to bear in mind that when you turn off the pump, water is going to flow into those air lines. So you've got to make sure that the, the actual valve that you're going to open and close is above your water line because you will get water in naturally when it flows into those air lines. And it's exactly the same for when you've got a blower system. We normally put in a Hartford loop so that the water doesn't flow back into the blower. But for this Venturi setup, we're just going to make sure that those Venturi lines go above the water line. Then we can rely on gravity to keep the water in the hot tub and below those valves. So once again, thank you to the subscriber there for requesting the video. I do apologize. I forget exactly who it was. Otherwise, I would give you a shout out. I did look back through the comments and I couldn't find where it was on the video. As always, I hope you found this short video useful. I do appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.